Good morning. In the fossil stratigraphic succession, it's very common to find this uh, coarsening and thickening upward succession of uh, clastic deposits. The interpretation of these uh, sequences, of these small scale sequences, is sometimes controversial because in some places sedimentologists and stratigraphers call these uh, as parasequences or in other situations they relate this uh, progradational system as related to delta deposits. We are going to discuss this problem in some detail in the drawing board. Uh, this kind of coarsening upward successions are made of uh, typically we have a section of fine grain deposits with some wavy lenticular bedding and on top the section becomes more and more sandy and at the top in some situation you can find also some carbonates forming this coarsening and thickening upward section sedimentologists call as parasequences In most cases, these parasequences have show wave reworking. So, for many sedimentologists, they call this uh, lower surface and upper surface environment. Uh, continuous succession of uh, um, succession of phases uh, bounded by these relatively flooding surfaces. But uh, in uh, for our explanation, it's very difficult to understand how this classic system can enter in the basin. In some places, we found real delta deposit or literal delta deposit. In this situation, this succession is quite more or less similar, but in contrast, toward the top, we found some sandstones with some root intervals, also some coal deposits, fine grain succession related to the delta plane. As you can see, these two sections are quite similar. Both sections are thickening and coarsening upward. But the main difference is in this section, you can see a progradation, probably from pro-delta, delta front, upper delta front, or lower delta front, upper delta front, then we have delta plane. Delta plane is the result of the progradation of a typical delta system when sediment are supplied toward the basin. So we have this transition between pro delta, lower delta front here. This is pro delta, this is lower delta front, upper delta front, and then we have here delta plane. So, this progradation here is the result of a sediment supply in a 
marine littoral delta system. So, in contrast, this kind of progradation, many geologists call as parasequences, don't have any rational explanation in terms of sedimentology. In uh, recent years, uh, we changed our understanding of this kind of quartzine upward sequences because we introduced in a recent contribution you can you can find in the in the back of this video in which we understand a different kind of delta it's not real a uh, marine littoral delta in which you have here a river that supply mainly water and some sediment but in this case we have a river that supply a mixture of water and sediment in turbulent suspension but this mixture is not really dense enough to interact with the bottom but is dense enough just to make a plume of sediment. This is a sediment in suspension that is supported by the interaction with wave action. So wave action help this flow in traveling basin water, very far from the source area. So basically this is a weak hyperpignal plume. The deposits form this kind of very low angle ramp we can recognize for sometimes for hundreds of kilometers. If you look into the in detail this deposit, you are going to see a lot of weight reworking here and basically the vertical succession of this ram delta or hyperpignal littoral delta we are going to see this coarsening and thickening our succession but uh, the main difference of this hyperpignal littoral delta with the marine littoral delta system is this hyperpignal littoral delta lack of the delta plane. The delta plane is common in this system because this, this kind of deltas are really attached to the coast, a very coastal feature. So in this situation you can have this uh, wage of clastic system that can extend hundreds of kilometers basin water. At the end, when the sediment supply stops or you have an allocycle control in sedimentation and sediment supply, you can have that this progradation at some point the sediment is not more supplied to the basin so you have this clastic ramp
shallow water progradational ramp in which uh, we don't have we don't have more this weak hyperpignal flow. So all this area increase the salinity because we stop the introduction of fresh water by these rivers and at the same time we have a very good uh, we are in the photic zone so the productivity of this ram can be very high so in this ramp is very common to evolve into some kind of um, shallow water system with a high productivity and in many places we can find on top uh, bioclastic limestone. So this is the explanation of many parasequences we can found in the stratigraphic rock in which we can recognize this quartzine upward succession and a limestone or just a sharp boundary on top but typically in this situation we have no delta plane on top a typical situation of these shallow very shallow water ramps thank you for attending to this explanation